Welcome back to the Dry Fire Journal. This is day 259, and I'm going to continue the experimentation that I worked on yesterday <clears throat> because if we're going to dry fire and we're going to continue to improve, in order to improve, we have to push our boundaries. And in order to push our boundaries, we have to not only get out of our comfort zone, we have to remain outside of our comfort zone. And so I am working on this idea that is contrary to what I usually teach, an idea brought to me by my dear friend Mirko, who is a frequent flyer in the Red Hawk training system and uh, also a very accomplished shooter and one of my dear friends. What I teach, orange gun, not real gun, what I teach is use my pinkies and my thumb and let my shooting hand do all of the work, or excuse me, support hand do all of the work and let my shooting hand relax. Mirko's theory is I've got two hands, why not use both? Now, I am trying to get after that sympathetic squeeze that a lot of people experience when they're trying to just run a trigger at speed or uh, on a like a now drill where an instructor will stand behind you and you're on target and your fingers on trigger and they kind of wait and wait and then say now and they expect you to run the trigger because watch this as I stage my hand to match the frame of the gun that fits my hand best by the way uh, this is Alice the Mark 23 uh, this gun fits my hand better than any other. Also, the gun I shoot the most accurately. Also, the hardest gun to carry. But uh, as I form my hand around the grip of the gun that fits me best and just remove that gun, and as I stage my trigger, as I go to run it quickly, it is very difficult for me to isolate that trigger finger without having some sympathetic movement and... This is a 12-pound double-action trigger. It is long and stiff and heavy and tw all of 12 pounds. So I thought this is the great gun to test this with. I have not tried this yet. As with all of the dry fire videos, all 250, however many there are of them now, uh, they're always done cold. And so I'm going to try this with my stiffest, firmest trigger uh, but with kind of my most favorite emotional gun is this one. So here we go. I'm going to grip with both hands, and you can see that my arm is working in order to grip. I'm not going to over grip, but I am going to grip with both hands. I'm going to use right here as an aiming reference so you can see my front sight. That way you're not staring down my muzzle. And as I run the trigger with two hands... That is the least amount of motion I've ever seen in this gun with my double action pull. Mirko, you might be onto something here. So let's try single action. Now, the whole point of this is reducing that sympathetic squeeze especially when trying to go fast or doing like a now drill where it's kind of a startle response. So let's try to run the double action fast. Remember, 12 pound trigger. Let's see what happens. It's manageable. There is some movement, which is to be expected, uh, but it's manageable. Now, if I sit here and don't try to just think about when I'm gonna do it, but just press the 12 pound double action trigger quickly, with using both hands to grip the gun. A little bit of jerk. A little bit of jerk. A little bit of jerk. So, uh, I'm balancing, as I experiment with this, I'm balancing between the lack of motion in my front sight when I am taking deliberate shots and a little bit more motion than I'm accustomed to when trying to do a startle response shot. So I'm still weighing my options, but I will say, my dear friend Mirko, you have an excellent point. Uh, 
and I'm going to start experimenting with this. I've got to experiment, experiment with it quite a bit before I start to interleave that into my more advanced trainings, but I'm pretty sure that's the path I'm going to be on. So thank you for showing me a different path than what I knew. I'm always looking for anything that can help me know better and do better so that I can work better so that I can be better. So thank you. As for you guys watching this, get to work. Try this out. See what happens for you. Let me know how it goes. And I'll see you tomorrow.